Hello, my name's Michael Keneally, and this brief video is to invite you to celebrate the summer solstice. And so the celebration of the festivals of the ancient Irish Druids is taught and supported from my Druid Forest School website, where there's quite a lot of different courses to do with the spiritual paths of the ancient Irish Druids, including an Ogham course. And so basically we celebrate the summer solstice because it's the day in the year when the sun is at the height of his strength, his light, his power. Incidentally, my courses uh, also can be cross-referenced to your astrology, your Western astrology and your Vedic astrology. And certainly in astrology, the sun is about our sense of self. It's also about other things like, you know, our experience of fathering, but it's our sense of self. And so certainly, for example, in Vedic astrology, there is a sense of the strong sun. We need a strong sun to be able to manifest the other latent qualities in our life, to be able to deal with the difficulties that may arise in our life from our family, from our work, from our culture, from our karmas. We need a strong sun. And the summer, summer solstice is the celebration of the strong sun, which can be negative in the sense that it burns and there are burning sun deities across the world. But the good strong sun is magnanimous and light-giving and enabling and able to make proper defence of our sovereignty of the sovereignty of our sense of self, our path in this life. And so in the Druid Forest School Festivals course, we share preparation for the summer solstice celebration. And then you can email me afterwards and share how you got on. So the summer solstice is always about June the 21st, one day either side. And in the ancient Irish tradition, a major feature was the lighting of bonfires to bring here on earth in the community group, in the tribe, the light and power and warmth that is our sun. And certainly a feature recorded from the ancient celebrations is where couples would jump the bonfires to bring the sun energy and the warmth and light of fire into their relationship. And obviously another major thing is to give thanks for the sun and to give thanks for what the sun does in bringing the burgeoning of nature and bringing the crops towards harvest, towards the harvest that will inevitably be made at Lunasa later on. And we need the sun in his glory to get our crops towards harvest. And so in our life, we need a strong sense of sun if we are to get our talents towards their harvest. A very important point. Lu is the god of harvest and he is the god of the harvesting of our talents. Another major feature, in addition to giving thanks to our sun and identifying our sun qualities, is really about our responsibility to the land and our guardianship of the land. And so, as I said in the course, I cross-refer to your Western astrology and to your Vedic astrology, and we, go, we can go into detail about how your sun appears in your chart. Is your sun too strong and burning? 
Or is your son too weak and complying with others and will throw away your talents? And perhaps your destiny is not for you not even to be able to identify your talents if you have a weak son, because they weren't allowed by your parents, for example. And astrology can bring such insight into the issues of our personal son. And it's life or death stuff. It's really worthwhile. Another feature in the celebration of the strength and the power of the sun is really the sense more in Welsh Celtic spiritual path of the Mabon, of the child of promise. You see in the winter solstice, which is the shortest day, the old sun dies and the tiny disc of the new sun is born. And this is big in the Neolithic monuments near here of the ancient Irish. And as the year progresses, the sun rises, so we get the Mabon, the child of promise. And we rise to the sun, summer solstice, sun of glory. But we have to remember at that point that the sun from then on begins to weaken from this point of the summer solstice for every day that passes the day gets a little bit shorter so we are heading inevitably from the glory of the sun to the sun's weakening from the glory of light to dark and so we are creatures of light and dark and so, in our celebration of the summer solstice, it's so useful to review what's happened so far since the winter solstice and get a sense of the shadow material which is still with us. This is our great chance to cast light into our shadow material which then, of course, we'll work to do healing with, around which, of course, we must now do work of empowerment, to do honour and justice to the great light of the sun on the day of summer solstice. <coughs> Traditionally, in the path of the ancient Irish Druids, this day too was seen as a day when the veils between the worlds are thin. The ancient Irish had this wonderful mapping of other worlds. They knew that this world isn't the end of the story. The mundane affairs and our day-to-day -day identity, you know, are simply a, a small stage. They could identify other worlds and those other worlds interpenetrate this world and can call us to our greatness or bring us to our fall and so this is one of the perhaps three days in particular when the veils between the worlds are thin and so this is a good time to do scrying a good time maybe to make contact with the ancestors, with your ancestors, and see how you relate to the pathway behind you of your ancestors and what torch you will carry forwards. It's also important, most important, in all the celebration of the festivals also to contact the energies of the land. And there are places around here in, in Ireland which have the most incredible earth energies placed in them, as is recognised by you know, the Book of the Invasions, by the Celtic Revival spearheaded by W.B. Yeats and Lady Gregory. Wonderful earth energies in places around here. And so we contact the earth energies of the place where we are and the energy of the trees, the very different energy of the trees and the lakes and the spirits of the lakes and the mountains. 
So do enrol on my Druid Forest School Festivals course. Share with me in the preparation of your festival, whether it's individual or group. Share with me in what your astrology has to say. And share with me in how it went and how to build on it and how to progress from it. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.